So soy contains phytoestrogens, and when people hear the word estrogen, they think female characteristics. But does soy consumption actually cause men to grow boobs or lose any of their masculinity? I did a Google search to see what would come up when people would search, does soy cause breast growth in men? So I'm going to go through the first four articles that I read and also the work of Dr. Michael Greger, who is a general practitioner and specializes in clinical nutrition. And he's come to some interesting conclusions about soy and other foods. The first article that appears on the Google search is the men's fitness website. It's a short question and answer article and it references a study in 2004. So the question on this website is, I've recently become a vegetarian so I'm eating a pretty soy heavy diet, but I've heard that too much soy can cause man boobs in a lot of guys. Any truth to that? And the answer is, well all men have breasts, but what you're referring to are big breasts, as in man titties, andro jugs, or tasty man treats. The medical term for large breasts in a male is gynecomastia. Gyno meaning ladylike and mastia equaling boobies. There are a ton of causes for gynomastia including obesity, genetics and hormones. In addition, certain medications like cimetidine and marijuana can also cause breast tissue growth. Some kids are raised on soy milk instead of cow's milk their whole lives. A 2004 Italian study of kids raised on soy protein formulas showed no gynecomastia, no early puberty, no changes in their bones, and no other signs of screwed up hormones. This article also mentions that there was one interesting case report of a 60 year old man who developed big old hooters and presented to a gland clinic for an answer. His gynecomastia eventually went away when they discovered he was drinking three quarters of a gallon of soy milk a day and they told him to cut it out. The second article that appeared on the Google search was on the men's health website. This article sensationalized the story of this man and created quite a negative spin on soy consumption. So it could be articles like this that spread fear amongst men. The third article that appeared on the Google search was from the Live Strong website. This is another short article referring to a study published in the January 2002 edition of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. This article found that high levels of phytoestrogens did not cause gynecomastia or other estrogenic effects in healthy men. The fourth article that appeared in the Google search was on chestsculpting.com. This article has some good advice and he includes links to studies done on soy consumption and its effects on the human body. He also makes valid points about which soy products are best avoided. It's important to get only organic soy because 91% of the soy grown in America is genetically modified to withstand the use of toxic pesticides. Soy has one of the highest pesticide contamination levels of any crop. Also, the processing of soy involves acid washing, neutralization solutions, and high temperature heating. Many of the original benefits of soy are destroyed when they are processed. Monosodium glutamate or MSG, is also often added to processed soy to improve its flavour. Now I will discuss the findings of Dr. Greger. His website nutritionfacts.org is a great resource if you want to learn more about the effects of soy on the human body. Just type soy in the search box and you'll get a bunch of videos about the topic. Based on his research findings, Dr. Michael Greger recommends that we should eat no more than 3 to 5 servings of soy foods a day because this will help maintain the low IGF-1 levels associated with a plant-based diet. While animal proteins increase levels of the cancer-promoting growth hormone IGF-1 and most plant proteins bring levels down, high-quality plant proteins such as soy may not significantly affect levels in either direction. This, however, may depend on the quantity consumed. Dr. McDougall also has a sensible article about how much soy to consume. Less than 5% of daily calories in the typical diet of Japanese or Chinese people comes from soybeans. 
This amounts to about 2 ounces derived from soy foods daily, which means only 7 to 8 grams of protein and 15 to 45 milligrams of the estrogen-like phytochemical known as isoflavone. Some men may be apprehensive about consuming soy because of the phytoestrogens that they contain. But what foods should they really avoid? Since we're on the topic of hormones, if you are concerned about estrogen, then you'd better stop drinking dairy milk and stop consuming all dairy products because dairy is high in estrogen and it will cause a drop in testosterone when consumed. Pregnant cows are under the control of relatively high levels of estrogen and milk produced from pregnant cows also contains correspondingly high levels of estrogens. It's ironic that men are perfectly fine with drinking dairy milk and eating other dairy products such as cheese, yogurt, ice cream, which all have actual estrogens in them. But they get unnecessarily scared of consuming soy products because of the phytoestrogens, which have not been shown to have any feminizing effects. But developing man boobs from dairy products isn't the main concern. There's something worse to consider. Some of the estrogens in dairy milk can be categorized as powerful carcinogens, not to mention the dairy industry is immensely cruel. Benjamin Spock says that cow's milk has always been sold as a perfect food, but now we are seeing that it isn't the perfect food, and the government really shouldn't be behind any efforts to promote it as such. Here is a quote by Dr. Neil Bernard. Most of us grew up with the idea that milk is healthful, if not essential. And yet research has shown a surprisingly different side to dairy products, linking it to a broad range of health problems. In conclusion, observe the people in everyday life around you who have man boobs. They are either overweight or they're working out their chest muscles or both. If you don't want to have the fat variety of man boobs, the obvious answer is to drop your body fat levels. The low carb diet may result in fast short term weight loss due to water loss and calorie restriction. But it is not a healthy long term way to lose weight because excess protein consumption is damaging to your body. It's damaging to your kidneys and to your bones. On the other hand, a whole foods plant based diet is one that prevents and reverses diabetes, cancer and heart disease. This same diet will result in a healthy weight and a lean physique.